housekeeping announcements. So if you would like to engage with us, uh, you have the Q&A button, which is on the bottom of your Zoom screen, please click on that and put in any questions there and we will be happy to answer those questions for you. We will send you a copy of our slides from today. Um, they will be in your inbox within the next couple of uh, days. So Rita will email those for us. There is closed captioning as well available. So you can turn on your CC button located on your Zoom menu if you'd like your closed captioning to be available. All right, um, next slide, please. Our, uh, our team today is part of the TechSoup Learning Courses team, which is led by Gray Harriman. And we have Shuya, uh, my colleague here, who's the manager of instructional design and present uh, production. Shuya, do you want to do a quick introduction for yourself? I'm sure. Thank you, Sabra. Um, uh, hello, everyone. Very nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Shuya, um, uh, working uh, at TechSoup Courses team since um, uh, 2019. Um, I've been uh, leading the instructional design and production with the team, um, working with um, our internal team um, um, and uh, external subject matter experts. Um, happy to share what we have with you here today. Thank you, Shuya. And my name is Sabah Merchant. I lead uh, global operations for our learning programs, and I work with nonprofits globally, work with our partners uh, globally and uh, assist um, thousands of our learners across all our instances. Um, and we offer courses in, in multiple languages. So let's, let's move uh, to the next slide and let me introduce a little bit more about our program. Uh, we, uh, we've done, of course, the introduction. We are going to talk a little about TechSoup courses. We'd love to show you some formats and examples of the courses that we have. And we have some recommendations that uh, might be a good fit for you. So um, we'll share those with you. And then we we'll take a few more minutes to talk about some upcoming trainings that we think would benefit you. And uh, we'll talk about discounts as well. So let's uh, jump right in. Um, next slide, please. So the TechSoup Courses Program aims to train nonprofit uh, staff and volunteers, and we help organizations with digital transformation. And uh, we, our aim is to assist um, nonprofits globally to help further their mission. Uh, we are very proud of our work and the output that we have. Next slide, please, Shuya. We uh, currently run um, about, we have about 200, more than 200 courses on our platform and uh, we have over 84,000 learners globally. And we have courses in many uh, languages as well. So um, let's go on to our next slide. Uh, we wanna do a quick poll. So Aretha, if you can launch our Zoom poll, please. We'd love to hear what format of training do you currently use? Uh, are you using self-paced and e-learning videos, e-learning modules, or do you do instructor-led training online or in-person or something else? Uh, if you can go ahead and please select. All right, can we see the results? Wonderful. So quite a few are taking e-learning self-paced courses, which is a great way to learn. I love that so many of you have also experienced instructor-led training. And in person, of course, over, over the last couple of years has had reduced, but I, I see that it's slowly picking up. Great. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for answering that. Uh, share your next slide, please. All right. So uh, with TechSoup courses, we have various offerings uh, and uh, allow me to share what each of these are. So we do live events which are led by experts and they essentially Q&A sessions. So they typically for uh, last an hour and we have a subject matter uh, expert introduce the topic for the first 10 minutes or so and and the rest of the hour is just spent in live q a on that topic with the expert answering these uh, questions as they come along uh, we also have uh, participants submitting questions in advance sometimes and we get those answered as well uh, 
Uh, a very common one, uh, which quite a few of you have already experienced, is the on-demand training, which is the self-paced one, um, as we call it. Uh, on our catalog, you'll find them usually with the 100 and 200 uh, level courses. So these are basic and advanced level courses. They're all self-paced, built in with you know activities and quizzes uh, to check uh, your understanding as you go along. And then we have tracks. So for example, we might, uh, Excel is a very broad topic. Uh, it's also a very popular topic. Uh, and there's so much to learn in Excel. So for TechSoup courses, the way we've divided it is into different on-demand courses. So there's Excel 101, which is on a particular topic, Excel 102, 103, and so forth. And then when you move to the last one, which is Excel 106 or 201, that's the most advanced uh, kind of activities that one would do in Excel. So uh, that's uh, those are our on-demand courses, and uh, in in the slide later on, I'll show you what um, topics we've uh, selected. But we have a very broad range of on-demand um, training that's available on our catalog. Then uh, we have workshops as well. This um, was something we used to do a lot uh, before, which was in-person workshops, and we've tried some online remote workshops as well, uh, but that's few and far between. Uh, we uh, have micro learning uh, as well, which are shorter videos or guides uh, that we uh, share, which are basically resources to help you on a particular topic. And uh, these are, you know, very similar to self-paced, but they are very, very short. It might be a two minute read or a five minute read on a particular topic uh, just to get you better insight or more help or even just uh, you know, yeah, collate all the resources in one particular spot to be able to assist you with uh, the set topic. And my personal favorite is uh, the blended programs. So these are cohort based programs and they usually last anywhere between, uh, you know, five to uh, six weeks, some very rarely eight weeks, but mostly six weeks. And uh, these are um, basically spread over each week. You have a live session where you come in and uh, the instructor is live answering your questions and introducing a particular uh, topic for that week uh, based, based on the course that you're doing. And you have activities that run that are run throughout the week, a week. It could also be a project that's run over six weeks and each week that you learn something, you're applying it to that project. Uh, and the best part I think uh, that I've seen most nonprofits enjoy about this is the fact that you not only get to interact live with the instructor each week, but we do have a discussion forum where people you know, go in and interact with uh, the expert and with peers put in their questions, put in, you know, uh, thoughts and ideas. And the experts actually go in there and answer those questions. And also the fact that you get an opportunity to interact for a longer period of time with the expert, but you also work with like-minded peers. Uh, we've oftentimes seen that, um, you know, two different nonprofits in different geographies might have similar missions or might be working on a problem uh, which is very similar and they might come together in the program and be able to uh, resolve it or find a solution or offer help to each other. So uh, this is a fabulous way to learn and it uh, provides you enough time to go to be able to go in depth and work on a project within your organization while you're also learning. So th this is our these are usually at 300 level uh, courses. They are cohort based uh, programs with live sessions each week. And then we have discussion forums as well. Over to the next uh, slide, Shriya. Uh, and um, here are some examples of the topics that we use. We, we feel that the TechSoup courses feels that people are the center of the operation at any nonprofit. And there's usually three interconnected layers which is process technology and training and uh, people being at the center of this it's important that one uh, understands how the entire operation is run so we have uh, different topics that we think are common themes that nonprofits uh, need trainings in and have reached out to us for help uh, strategy technology marketing operations and data management are the main pillars uh, 
but some of uh, the topics range from change management to website management. We have quite a few um, that have asked for help on project management, uh, a lot on uh, product based like Excel or any Microsoft product teams. Um, we've also had courses. Uh, we are we are doing courses on Adobe as well. Um, then uh, Google Ads, Google Analytics is, uh, you know, also uh, a very common topic. Cybersecurity is uh, a topic that has become, you know, of huge importance in the recent past. Uh, social media marketing, uh, a lot of data management also, because we oftentimes see nonprofits struggle. There's a lot of data that gets collected, but one doesn't know how to use uh, that data sometimes or have that data talk to each other or what does one do with qualitative versus quantitative data. So we do have data analytics uh, courses as well. And um, in, the, in, in this year, we've seen a topic that has generated huge interest, uh, which is AI and data privacy. Uh, and then if you want to go in for more advanced courses using Power BI, which is a product from Microsoft uh, to help, uh, you know, build your dashboards, et cetera, then we have courses available on that um, as well. And uh, next slide. So Shuya, I think over to you now to take us through course formats and examples. Thank you, Saba, for the wonderful overview of our program. So I will share a little bit uh, more details about what course types we have. Um, and so before diving into the course types and examples, um, I I'm gonna share a little bit of how we develop our courses. Our courses are uh, designed and developed based on an understanding of our learners, who they are, what might be their preference and what are their learning needs. So then we work together with very experienced nonprofit subject matter experts to design the strategy, the content and activities, and then develop everything. And after the course is launched on our platform, we also collect evaluation feedback. So to help improve the course in the future and make it an iterative process um, to better our offerings. So uh, our aim, is to make sure um, not only help the learners feeling they are learning something during the instruction, but also be able to actually apply what they have learned to the actual work and uh, see some long-term benefit. So this aim is reflected in our design of the content and activities, as well as in our way of evaluating our um, learning outcomes. Um, so as Saba has uh, mentioned, we are offering uh, different types of learning content. And uh, please allow me to highlight two of the most uh, popular types or major types of our learning content. The first one is the on-demand course. Um, Saba has already mentioned we have um, um, a series of on-demand courses on the same topic ranging from uh, more basic to the more advanced. Um, and they are purely self-paced you can take at your own time um, at uh, whatever place is convenient for you. Um, and it, it usually has um, videos or interactive narrated presentations for you to go through to learn the content. And you may also find scenarios or case studies to see how those knowledge are in action uh, in the real world. Um, we also provide knowledge check quizzes at the end of each module to help you check your understanding uh, of the specific module and the activities to help you practice, uh, to get hands-on practice for the content. And our pl pro, uh, platform uh, supports the track of your progress. So you don't have to finish everything at once. You can um, uh, take some modules and then come back later and be able to pick up from where you left off. And after you have fulfilled all the requirements for finishing the course, you will be able to download a certificate of completion in case you need to show your employee, uh, employer uh, who sponsored your training or just to um, keep a record for yourself. And the second type of the most popular course, uh, as Sabah already mentioned, it's a 
the online blended learning course and a lot of the features she already mentioned. Um, so it is um, a program that ranges for, for weeks and usually designed with the project to be completed throughout the course. And it's usually break, broken down into smaller tasks to be finished uh, um, each week. And then at the end of the course, you'll, have, you'll see some more bigger tangible projects um, that you may be able to implement uh, in your organization. And uh, of course, we will offer uh, worksheets and handouts to, to be used along the way to complete those tasks. And for this type of courses, we work with the nonprofit experts who are not only uh, very experienced and knowledgeable in their subject matter, but also very experienced and uh, uh, good at online teaching, uh, engaging with learners uh, in the online uh, virtual setting. So um, uh, as already mentioned, uh, there are uh, live sessions uh, and the discussion forum to engage with the expert and each other. Um, with, during the live session and outside the live session. So we have seen a really great sharing of ideas in these uh, settings, as well as uh, very exciting networking opportunities that happened during the course. Uh, now I would like to show you a few uh, examples of courses. Uh, so I'm going to bring in my browser window. The first example is a learning track consists of two courses on project management. The first course uh, is our more basic level overview of this um, topic. What is project? What is project management? And what's the cycle? What's the life cycle of a project? So um, this is more conceptual knowledge for this first course series and you will see some um, narrated interactive presentations like this one. I'm gonna show it very briefly here. Before hopping into the ins and outs of project management, let's answer this question first. What is a project? What is the thing that you'll be managing? Here's an example. Everyday maintenance of the water wells in a village. Is this a project? So this is actually a question for you to answer. Answer yes. Oh, oh, I'm wrong. So I can continue. Let's look at another example. Bill. Okay, so this is a type of um, presentation we have in the course. Um, and also, um, you'll find a uh, check on um, check your understanding quiz for the module. And then, after getting an overview of what this topic is, um, you can continue into the 201 course, which dives a little bit deeper into the first step of the life cycle of a project, uh, which is the framing or defining of the project. So there are different aspects for you to learn about framing a project, like the why, what, and how, and you'll go through each module. Um, it will have similar presentations like in the 101 course and quizzes. And uh, because this tool one gets a bit more hands-on, so you might find more um, activities um, and handouts that you can use to um, start off the project planning. For example, uh, the checklist, summarizing everything you need to follow for this step and uh, some additional templates uh, for you to use. So this is the first example of the on-demand course. And the second example uh, is another type of on-demand course, um, Adobe InDesign, which is one of the Adobe design series. Um, this is uh, launched recently. And um, you'll see uh, the tool one in the name of it, but it's actually starting from the beginning level, but with a greater length of content. So, um, so it's go, uh, helping you uh, going through all the essential steps of how to use InDesign with uh, three project examples, like a trifold brochure, annual report, and uh, um, uh, 
an, an, an interactive PDF document. So um, this course, in this course, you will follow the instructional videos from the expert, Kara, um, and then um, you'll also find um, some practice files for you to uh, actually follow the steps in the video. Um, if there is a practice file, usually there will be a link below or above the video for you to download and then um, watch the video to, to go through the steps. Um, I'm going to show a little bit of a video as an example. In this example, we're gonna be working on page seven. So use your navigation method of choice to get yourself over to page seven. And before we demonstrate text on a path, we need to place a couple of graphics in here. To do that, let's first click away to make sure nothing's selected. And then. So um, this is the second example, a very hands-on uh, Adobe software course. And the third and last example is uh, a blended learning program that we have um, almost annually. Um, the example or the course page I'm going to show you is a record from last year. And we have the one for this year um, coming up next month. So um, as you can see from the welcome page, this is a six week course with a combination of uh, instructional led uh, live sessions and on-demand learning content. It is um, helping you going through the whole process of um, utilizing data uh, for your nonprofit um, from uh, did a plan a plan to to how, how you are going to measure something and then collect data analyze data and then uh, report on the data so for each week usually you'll find a, a orange button here uh, to click and join the live session if the session is not done yet so after the session has happened, we will then uh, have the recording up here for your review. Um, and you'll see we have the practice activities for each week. Um, for example, for this one is to actually finish uh, 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 develop your measurement plan with the provided worksheet. And after you have done your uh, initial draft, uh, you can share it in the forum. This is a link to the forum. So the feedback, you can get feedback from the expert or the peers. And we also have some on-demand learning content for the upcoming week. Uh, this is some uh, video resources for you to watch before coming to the second session. And so the format will be similar for each week. And, uh, and uh, um, when it's in the last week, hopefully you'll have a uh, um, workable plan to bring to your organization. So um, these are the three examples I would like to share. And I want to pause here to see if we have any questions so far. We had two questions in the Q&A section and I've answered those. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Saba. So no worries. Continue. Um, yeah. uh, so we have a lot of courses available and uh, feel free to browse our catalog at uh, techsoup.course.tc. So um, in these following slides, we're going to highlight a few that we think might be of interest to you. The first one is a track of email marketing for nonprofits and lab libraries. So this track has a series of um, seven courses in total, um, talking about uh, email marketing, different aspects. Um, 
And the second example uh, is another track. Uh, actually, oh uh, yeah, it's an on-demand track as well. That's uh, uh, Saba has already mentioned it. It's a track about Excel, how to use Excel for data management and uh, analysis. Um, the third example, um, it's also an on-demand course track. Uh, that's uh, one, one of the courses I've just, uh, just showed you. Um, so this whole series of Adobe Fundamentals uh, teaches you about the essential tools in Adobe Creative Cloud that you might need for uh, your uh, design tasks in your organization. Um, uh, like we have the intro course to the whole series and then uh, Express, Adobe Creative Express, Adobe uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and then Premiere Rush for video editing. And so with this, I'm going to hand it back to Saba to talk more about newly launched courses. Hi, I was just uh, putting a message in our uh, chat. So um, as Shriya was sharing about the on-demand courses, you know, these courses, because they are self-paced, even though they seem like there are many courses, because they're self-paced, you can literally take them at any given time. And say, for example, you're going through a course or a module and uh, you take a pause and you come back to it the next day and resume from where you started. So um, that's the best part about doing on-demand courses. You take them at your time, at your schedule, uh, and you're not bound that you have to finish it within a certain certain period of time. So say, for example, you enroll in a course, you have that course at least for the next one or two years. So, um, and if anything changes before that, we will definitely reach out, but minimum a year. So you have, that's quite a lot of time to take, take those uh, courses. Uh, now talking a little about our newly launched courses. So as we shared before, we're very proud of the work uh, that we've put into our Adobe courses with our fabulous subject matter expert, Kara uh, Plikinik. She's been uh, working with nonprofits globally and working on design for many, many years. She's also uh, an author of many books and uh, is very active active in the design community. So she's our expert on our Adobe courses. And uh, these uh, Adobe courses go in depth into each of these topics. Like for, uh, for example, Photoshop, uh, we go into how you use Photoshop, how you could use that to uh, develop communications for nonprofits. Um, so uh, these, these are our Adobe courses, uh, again, a little more on each of the Adobe products. And then, um, one of my favorite courses was also the AI for good. Now, uh, these three that you see online, these are free courses. So these are recordings. We, we had done live events before, and now we've con converted them into recordings. So you can literally go in and uh, enroll in like, uh, there's no fee for it. You can go ahead and watch these uh, recordings. They are usually an hour long on, on particular topics and AI for good. I think AI is a topic which, uh, you know, uh, there's been a lot of buzz around this topic uh, recently. And um, I'd like to talk a little about this, uh, especially because the partner that we worked with, Roundtable Technologies, who was a subject matter uh, expert, brought in a very interesting perspective as to what AI tools are available already that nonprofits can use. There are resources already available and how impactful and important it is for nonprofits to have a voice in uh, AI. You know, technology is developing at a very, very fast pace. And while there are large corporations um, putting in their might and thought into this, it's very important to have a word uh, or a very uh, good representation from nonprofits as well uh, uh, that are going to be using AI or uh, that already use AI. So uh, I would definitely highly recommend that you look at that recording. Um, next slide, please, Shuya. All right, my favorite part. Now let's talk about our upcoming courses. So um, 
just so you know, I, I know today is July 18th and I know I've put July 12th there and that, that was a live event that just happened. Um, and it was led by Kara, who, who is our um, subject matter expert on Adobe, uh, uh, on Adobe. And uh, she did this live event for uh, accidental designers that, you know, you might find yourself in this position working for communication for your nonprofits. And sometimes it's very hard to put together all of this information that's coming uh, to you. So definitely, uh, uh, you know, uh, something that we'd recommend is for you to go take a look at that and see how you can uh, help. Uh, build out that communication or pieces uh, that you might want to think about as you design communications for nonprofits. Um, and uh, one that we will be doing tomorrow is um, a live event on data. Uh, we've run this before. It's a very popular topic. We've received fabulous feedback from nonprofits in the past of how helpful these courses have been. And this again is a live event, so it's free. We would highly recommend you go enroll. Um, for it, and I'd shared our course catalog link uh, in our chat earlier, so uh, you can look through that link and find this uh, live event there, and it's at 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. And our expert is Marie, who is uh, from the Netherlands, um, and she's helped nonprofits uh, understand data and how do you work with data, which is qualitative and quantitative, and build a story around it and um, help your nonprofit organize data. Uh, and then we have some fabulous 300-level uh, uh, courses, which are our online courses coming up uh, starting August. So we have one on data analytics. Highly recommend that. We also have, um, you know, uh, an offer running on all of uh, our courses, uh, which are the paid courses. So you get about $100 off if you enroll early. Uh, and so now would definitely be a good time to enroll for that. So we have data analytics coming up and then we have a uh, uh, nonprofit technology framework in action coming up, which is a free event. Um, and we will have a 300 level course uh, for, for that coming up uh, later in September as well. And uh, Related to project management, we have on-demand courses available for project management. And um, we uh, will be doing a course on Asana. So we're going to be talking about how Asana can help nonprofits. Um, and we're doing a live event and a course related to that. The course, of course, is happening in September. And it's about how you build best practices using Asana uh, for your nonprofit. And then we have um, a design fundamentals course. So we'll be using a lot of the Adobe products for it. And uh, that course starts in mid August. Um, and we have project management as well coming up in September. So uh, quite a full calendar uh, of events that are happening. And I know I've uh, pushed everyone and said, you should go ahead and look at our course catalog. And I want to take a quick um, second to, uh, or maybe a minute, not a second to, uh, to show you how you can access that. So show you if you can go to our course catalog. I want to show people how to log in. So this is our course catalog and um, Shuya, of course, is in, uh, logged, uh, logged in already, but there is an option on the top right where you hit login. And once you hit login, it's going to ask you to create an account for yourself. And that's basically just uh, so that each of you has a username and a password. And the reason why we do that is because at the end of each course that you take, you get a certificate. That is a certificate you can take back to your nonprofit, to your HR or you know whoever's running your training and show them that here is a course completion certificate that you have received. And uh, hence you need to have individual logins for that. As I shared before as well, there might be times where you might take um, an on-demand course and um, you know you might want to pause in between because you have a meeting to run to or there's an important email uh, that you need to attend to. So when you pause or you log out and log back in, you start at the very place where you stopped. And hence that is a login that you need just 
uh, for individuals. You, I mean, that's something you can't share with, uh, you know, one organization can't have like a shared email for these reasons. So this is a very easy, um, you know, a registration page that we have. We collect information on your first name, last name, and you can log in through your uh, email, create your password, and then just sign up for our course. Um, we can uh, go back to our PowerPoint here. Yeah? And on to the next page. All right, so one more quick poll. We've we've shared uh, the topics that we will be running courses on. Uh, and we'd like to hear from you. What are the kinds of trainings that you might be interested in? So please select from our options here, quite a few. Um, there's a lot more, uh, you know, in terms of topics, and we'd love to hear from you. What are the courses that interest you the most? Hopefully, that is with enough time. Can we share the results? Wow, Adobe and fundraising. Wow. So Adobe, I definitely have answers for you and I'm very happy to uh, see that quite a few, I mean, the, we have people that are interested in Adobe and I hope you take advantage of that and we will come with a fundraising uh, course as well. Uh, all right, next slide. And here on our course catalog, we have a special tab, which is called special offers and events. And here you will find all of our upcoming courses along with discounts for whichever course that you're running. Some of them are, of course, free. Uh, the ones that are paid, we usually do run discounts for those. Uh, so you can, uh, you know, if you click on that, say, for example, you click on organize your work introduction to Asana, you will find a coupon code in there, which you can use at checkout, which usually is $100 off. Um, so that's where you go in to check our special offers. Um, next slide. And uh, for all of our webinar event attendees, we have a code, which is 100 webinar. If you want to enroll in any of our courses, please use this code. It's valid until August 31st. Um, and the reason why it's valid until August 31st is because we have our Think Like a Designer course, which is starting in August. And uh, then we have a uh, technology nonprofit, which you can enroll early. That's also starting in September and Asana, which is starting in September. Hence the validity of that code. If you do want to take the data analytics code, that's starting super early. So I would encourage you to please go ahead and enroll. The earlier you enroll, the better it is. At least the seat is confirmed. Uh, because some of our courses do have a very high demand. So we, you know, uh, we prefer if you have uh, enrolled already in the course. So uh, again, don't forget that code. It's 100 webinar. It has to be used when you're checking out and paying for these courses. And we encourage you to use that. Um, as we've said before, we will be sharing these slides. So you will have the code uh, via email in case you forget. Uh, but, uh, and then of course, uh, the uh, Aretha just mentioned that the video replay and slides will be emailed tomorrow itself. So thank you for that, Aretha. And uh, over to uh, the next slide. So for group enrollments as well, uh, many nonprofits we've seen, especially in the cohort-based trainings, it's always helpful to have, you know, two or three people from your nonprofits um, uh, enrolled in a course, then you're working collectively uh, on a problem, say, there might be somebody from marketing, there might be somebody from fundraising, and there might be somebody from operations. All of you can come together and work uh, on, um, you know, a problem that you want to resolve for your organization together when you go through these trainings. We, of course, uh, will offer a discount to uh, anyone that has a group of five or most um, staff that are coming, even three or more, actually. I'm happy to extend a discount to anyone that has three or more people from your organization joining any of our courses. This is not only for our 300 level courses. If you, uh, if, uh, you know, you have staff members from your organization wanting to take our on-demand courses as well. 
we're happy to extend a discount. Uh, we do this very often. We've had organizations that have come to us with you know, anywhere from 10 to 25 staff. We've also enrolled like uh, an organization with 130 staff members. So we're happy to help you with your training needs um, through TechSoup courses. And please do email us uh, at learn at TechSoup, uh, you know, and we can have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you, find out your needs and work on, you know, a budget that works for your nonprofit as well. And of course, it allows the flexibility to each and every uh, staff member from your organization to uh, complete these courses. And at the end, um, each of them receives a certificate. So, uh, you know, at least your HR or your training person knows that the course has been completed and there's an understanding. I see that there's a question from Elena. I'm going to take that live. Uh, Elena's question is, when a new request for a course topic is put forward, how do you decide whether to develop the training and what is your timeline for course development? Great question, Elena. So I think, uh, like, for example, fundraising is a topic uh, that we already have on-demand courses on. If you do have a topic, uh, especially a blended uh, learning topic that you need um, to you know, put out for your organization, we can put together a training for that. I think it just depends on the topic and availability of the subject matter expert, which of course we can help um, help you, uh, you know, uh, bring because we do have a lot of uh, people that we already know from the industry. And uh, I mean, I would say anywhere between three to six months, Shuya, will I be off if I say that timeline? Uh, yeah, depending on the length of the course, um, we're all on demand courses, the development timeline, uh, three to six months sounds right, uh, about, about right. Um, and uh, the light, landed learning program is a little bit different, but I think that's um, enough time to develop that type yeah. of course too. And if you have like a more shorter uh, timeline as well you know sometimes nonprofits want to get trainings done before the end of the year we're absolutely open to discussing that again it kind of just depends on the topic uh, you know and how easy or tough it might be to secure someone that's already available between that uh, timeline so a lot of our internal timeline we can work around it uh, depends on you know the availability of the subject matter expert but that's not to uh, you know discourage you uh, in reaching out in any way I think we're very flexible and for the most part we can work around uh, you know whatever your budget and whatever your training needs are and um, so yeah, feel free to reach out to us. Um, thank you, Elena, for that. And Aretha, thank you for sharing our email in chat as well. Uh, over to the next slide, which is just a thank you. If, uh, I wanna, we wanna end here with a thank you to each and every one of you for joining today. And we're here if there are any questions uh, that you'd like to ask, we're happy to answer them live. Uh, you can put it in the Q&A section if you'd like. Thank you everyone for joining and staying with us. We hope you found this uh, information helpful and we are excited and looking forward to hearing from you. So email us at learn at TechSoup for any of your training needs, for any discounts that you'd like, and uh, we're happy to talk to you. Thank you for joining. Thank you, everyone.